اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم How you doing? Good. Oh. You got your footage, you're going to have our footage. Whose footage? Huh? Whose footage? Uh, Dave's recording, you're recording, right? You Who's recording? Who's David? Uh, David Wood? Let uh. me be, be the first to apologize for their tardiness. Oh, it's all right. We're here all day. <laughs> We're here all day. Feel free, it's all free. That's right. Oh, you know Bilal Phillips? I like, I like his voice. You like it? Yeah, it's got like that deep voice. voice. Yeah. How you doing? How's it going? Good, good. Are we, oh, are we fisting or? <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Are we good? Okay. Cool. Okay. How you doing? Good to meet you. Good, yeah, but I know it's got to be six feet. Yeah, six feet. Yeah. Uh, so you guys Christians, I'm assuming? You know who we are. Come I don't know who you are. Oh, Why would you assume I know who you are? Are you famous? Uh, well, we showed up yesterday, and uh, you guys here said uh, that Sam said he was going to be, he was going to come by, and they're like, you're, well, you didn't come by for, earlier. You're Sam? No, this is Sam. Yeah, come on, man. You know yeah, Sam. No, Sam. Uh, I don't know Sam. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> look, 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 I don't know if you guys. Uh, no, my name is Osman. Osama Abdullah? No, I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. He's joking. He's joking. We know who you are. Oh, you know who I am. Yeah, we saw a video. Oh, you're just being, you're just being funny. Yeah, he's being funny. I like that, he's Hasumu. Not very, he's not very yeah, good at it. So you're Hasumu then? He's not very yeah. good at it. No, I'm not a sumo wrestler. You're not no. Hasumu? Yeah, no, no. That's hey, what's your name? That's My name is Osamu Shimu. Hasamu? Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to get to know who you are, bro. Why are you, why are you all? Hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, yeah. Right. Yeah. I just asked him. I know, but you were acting like somebody was getting up with you. I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Good conversation. Yeah, yeah, let's have it. So you are? David, I'm David. David? Wood. Wood. Yeah. Hammer time. What's that? They call you hammer time, right? Yeah, some people do. Okay, okay, gotcha. That's you. you do know. No, no, somebody told me about you, so that's good to finally meet you. Nice. You guys flew to San Diego? There's a gangbanger down here in San Diego. Oh, man, you know me. He was too. He was too. He was too. You were? What did they call you down I don't know if I should be telling you, man. You were a gangbanger? They called him Hammer Time. What did they call you? They called me Shooter. Shooter? Yeah. Okay, okay. We're on even playing field then. I was called Crook. Crook? Crook? Yeah. Were you a Crook? He was, a, he was, a, he was, <laughs> he was, he was a car thief. Oh. What gang were you from? I, I lived up uh, in Orange County, but also... What barrio? Ran around in Inglewood, Inglewood Mafia, those sorts of things. Were you a blood, crib, essay? No, more of an essay type gang. Nice. Cool. But my background is Sicilian, just like... Ah. You're, uh, you're Pakistani, right? Yeah, I'm Pashtun, yeah. So we're both guys sort of out of our own water in a sense, but we... I feel you. In different, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. What's your name? My name's Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. So are you... Are you guys Christian then, or Catholics? Yeah, are you... I've seen, I've seen one of your videos. You might have seen more, but I, see, I saw one video. It popped up. Uh, it was because you mentioned Christian Prince. Okay. And it was where you, you said you, you challenged him to a debate. You said yeah. you'd debate anyone. So, yeah, anyone. So we decided... We know Christian Prince is not going to come down. Like, okay. He doesn't, he does, he's not comfortable revealing his identity. Why? But, uh, uh, I mean, you're here. If, Nobody's... If we knew, if we knew, <laughs> that's a good question for Christian uh, Prince, right? That, I mean, you guys are here. Anybody harming you? Anybody attacking you? I don't think that's the... I mean, I don't know. I couldn't speak to Is him. he, like, on a, on a sex registry somewhere? Like, is there a problem with showing his face? I show my face. I don't have a problem. I know a lot of You're here. That show their face, but... Right, so why would he be ashamed of showing his face? I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason, though. What do you think the reason is? Scared, maybe? Maybe he's a professional business. I actually know some Muslims that are like this. A lot really? Of just, they just don't want to Muslim get debaters or YouTube well, guys? I think they all show their yeah, face, yeah, right? Yeah, I, don't I, know. Know. I know quite a handful of people that just right. like to... They, yes, this yes, isn't, yes, they're not interested in becoming public figures, per se, but they do like to engage the discussion. All right. I'm sure in their own it's good context, to see you back. I'm sure in their own context, they're known. Yeah. Know, how could you not... You know, if you engage people, then you're going to be known, at least in your context. But they don't... Right, but I, I think... National attention. I think every Muslim 
YouTube da'i shows their face. I don't know if any that don't, right? So I'm just wondering well, back why. Back in the day, for example, Yaya Snow. You know, I, I never heard of that name before in my life. But I, I used to, I mean, I've been engaging people for at least 20 years. Wow. So, well, you got experience. Well, that's, that's not my point. My point is just I know Muslims who prefer not to, and that was just what it was. And I okay. Think, okay, so let me just get to know you as what kind of, because different kind of Christians, I was explaining to them, we get all kinds here, right? And I don't, I've never watched any of your videos, so I don't know you. So I want to get to. If you I am don't. a Presbyterian pastor, so I'm a okay. born Christian. So do you believe Jesus is God, or do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? I think that's a false antithesis. Uh, just a, a question, a honestly. Jewish, well, yeah, so the answer is it's a false antithesis. That's not what you said, but okay. In a Jewish context, to be the Son of means to have the nature of, the one that you are the Son of. And so in Christianity, the Son of God is by nature God. Okay. But without division, right? And without so division. So they're the one. They're one. They are absolutely okay, one so, in their essence. Okay, so God, Jesus is one. Right. So they don't have okay. parts, for example, as in Islam, where God has multiple parts. God doesn't have parts. Attributes. So you don't believe Allah has a face? Okay, let me explain that but to you. But do you? Can I, Wait a minute. You, you asked a question. Ago. Can I answer? Yeah, you asked me a question a minute ago. Then you, okay. then you faulted me for not just directly answering. I'm directly answering okay. if you let me speak. Okay, so, 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 okay. Eyes, so, hands, you, you see this? Let's just be you clear, see this? Let's just be clear with the question. He's just clarifying the question. Let's sure. be clear what the question is, and then I'll let you talk. Face, yeah. eyes, hands, shin, foot, or feet. No. Uh, does he have those attributes, those okay. qualities? And I'm not asking you to describe what those qualities are. Are you done with your question? My question is, does he have multiple attributes? You, you see why you're not letting me answer, right? He is, he's okay, out. thank you. So can I speak? Answer. Okay, so as I listen to you, please listen to me, okay? Allah is one. Undivisible. Okay. Al Ahad, he is the one that is one without two. Okay. He has sifat that are all his. And sifat. Can I can I can I finish? I, I'll explain it. No, I don't need you to define it for me. Thank you. I'm asking you to. I will. Okay. See, see, when I asked you to let me speak, you interrupted me again. But I'm, I'm, if you just let me, no, no, don't, 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 don't be in, in, insulting towards me. Let me speak. You're being insulting. And, all I'm asking you to do is. Am I being insulting or am I trying to answer here? Well, Would? Am I trying to answer or yeah, am I being insulted? I think you just want to. A lot of. Uh, look, look, if you want my answer, you're, 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 you have to listen to my yeah, answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm using, just explaining what he's saying. A lot, using, of your, a lot of your viewers are going to be familiar with terms that our viewers might not be I'll explain it if he lets me. Yeah, okay. So, so you need to know I need you to explain it. When you speak, I'm going to listen. When I speak, you can listen. So you're and then if you would like to get a clarification so you're, after, you're, I'm, see, again, again, look at this, right? He, know, he doesn't want me to speak. <laughs> let, let, your, let your audience see this, We've already agreed that, that you this. won't let me this speak. Won't tell us what's I will okay. if you let listen, okay? Go ahead. If you need a clarification afterwards, please wait for me to let finish and then ask me to clarify. Is that understandable? Is that can we have a civil discussion so here? There we go again. You just okay. a question to answer. <laughs> Your own buddy is telling you let him answer, bro. Let him, let him go. Thank you. Thank you. At least you want to hear it. Okay. So when you talk about sifat, they are of Allah's characteristics. They're not divisible. You cannot take the hand away from the face. They are all a part of Allah. Okay? Part? Let, yes. Okay. Sifat are characteristics. You understand? For example, this is a gentleman named David, right? Now, this is your face. This is your hand. This is one. If I cut your hand off, it will not exist anymore, right? Because that is now cut off from your body, right? This is you, understand? Allah has sifat that are not like humans. They're not like us. But he has sifat that he told us about in the Quran and upon the lisan of the Prophet. Now, let me explain those words. Allah has characteristics that he has explained in his holy book, the Quran, and upon the tongue of his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But he is one. He's not divisible. He doesn't become into parts, not Legos. That is not the way it works in Islam. Okay? Now, any terms you didn't understand, no, no, Anthony? I, I understood the terms and I okay, think you're be clear. defining them for the sake of the audience. But Excellent. here's my question. At one point you said he has sifat. These are attributes, characteristics, parts of him. Yep. They're inseparable from him. Yep. But you referred to them as parts. So do you believe I, I did Allah? not. You did use the term part. I said, said sifat. They're, part. I'll, I'll let they're, you, they're a part of him. Okay. okay. So okay, you let's did use that term. Sure, we okay. will say sifat. So you That's would grant bracket. that at least in that sense, that Allah is not absolutely one. You don't mean he's absolutely one in the sense that he has no attributes. He has attributes. You want me to respond? Yes. You see how I listen to you respectfully without interrupting you? you? No, no, I do need to do that we're, because... We're you, that. No, no, we're not because you're already interrupting. There you go again. So, the sifat of... 
I, look at this. <laughs> Your own friend is telling you be quiet, man. He, he's Listen. He's begging you to hurry up. No, he's not. He's telling you to be quiet. I'm, 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 I'm interested in the answer. I wanna, Thank you. And I don't want to hear a response. Okay. So, it's cool. so sifat are not things that make you more than one. This is your misunderstanding, okay? When Allah is one, He's indivisible, absolutely one. His sifat are is His. That does not make Him more than one. This is your misunderstanding. If you had studied Aqeedah, and if you like to, we have Durus, you can learn them. You would have known that the sifat of Allah are unique to Him and are only His and are part of Him. They are not divisible. Having sifat does not make you more than one. This is your misunderstanding. Wait, Let me, can I finish now? Oh, are you finished? No, I'm okay, not. If I was finished, then I wouldn't be talking okay. anymore, right? Thank you. Now, if you look at a, 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 any, any object in this worldly thing, right? like, I mean, I'm giving you just a worldly example, right? If you look at a tree, right? A tree is one. If a tree has, has leaves and fruits and all of that, that doesn't mean that the tree is more than one. Now, if the fruit breaks from the tree, it's no longer a part of the tree. Right now, it's no longer a characteristic of the tree itself. Understand? Allah is one. He has sifat, but that does not make him more than one. Are right. we clear? We're clear on the fact Good. that you're saying he's one in some sense. No, but I didn't say that. I do not agree that he's one in every sense. If you are saying he has actual attributes, you use the analogy of a tree. Mm -hmm. A tree is composite, it has parts, it has branches, it has leaves. I grant that if something's cut off of the tree, it's no longer part of the tree. Excellent. But the tree is made up of parts. Mm -hmm. If that's what you mean by saying Allah is one, then you are saying that your being, your God, who is one, in sure. the sense that he's only one being, is a composite of parts. So he's not absolutely one. Can there I finish? Is, there is diversity in unity in your deity. Is that true? No. Can right. I explain it now? Go ahead. All right. I give you the example of a tree. Mm -hmm. And as I said in the example, it's a worldly example to show you that something that is connected is one. When it breaks, it's no longer one, which we have agreed to now, right? Mm -hmm. You said that if it breaks away, it's no longer going to be part of the tree. OK, I'm glad we agreed to that. When we talk about Allah, as I've said repeatedly, He is one and He does not divide. <laughs> Okay, this is unique to Allah. Allah is uniquely one. He is only one. His sifat do not make him more than one. He is not divisible. He's not broken into parts. He is one. His sifat are part of that oneness. He is uniquely one. Right. Yeah, so, I like David. Uh, David's guy. Yeah, yeah. All you're saying though is that he is a composite being that cannot be divided. The, the, the sifat cannot be separated from him. I'm granting that. You're still saying he's a composite being. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's no objection sure. here yet. I'm just saying. Okay. Could I just offer clarification? Sure. Yeah, because you what, grant what, that. Yeah, what, 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 I'm, what I'm hearing. So, if you, as you pointed out, a tree is one tree. Okay. A tree is one tree. But you could say the tree is one in the essence of being a tree or something like that. Okay. But it's more than one in cells or leaves or something like that. So, it's a kind of unity and plurality or something like that. Um, so I think all Anthony is saying is is Allah like that in that he's one in essence or nature or something like that, but more okay. than one in attribute or and I'm not objecting something to that. like that. I understand. Okay. I'm not objecting. I think, yeah, I'm just I clarifying. I'm going to listen are. first. Yeah. So uh, that's not an objection. So it's not like you need to think. I'm just I don't think you'd be. I don't think you'd be dishonest. So that's not what I'm suggesting here. But that, I don't think that you need to think, okay, what is he after here? Like he's going after this. I'm not going after that. I don't think a lot of Muslims know that. And I think that's accurate. I think that Muslims believe in one being, but they do ascribe to him certain attributes, qualities, characteristics, all hearing, right, all seeing, those sorts of things. But that technically is not belief as, as you'd find in pagan philosophers in a monad which is okay. uh, uh, something that's devoid of any kind of attributes. It's an absolute unity. Okay, so first thing, I just wanted to understand what you're saying. If you're saying Allah has sifat, then no doubt we agree. And I have taught Aqidah, you can look at the lessons, it talks about it, right? Allah is all hearing, all seeing. But I think what the, mis the, the miscommunication we're having, and maybe we just kind of go past this, is thinking if somebody's all hearing, and all seeing and all knowing that that can somehow make them components that could be taken apart or not a whole as one. I, I don't think having the ability to hear everything and see everything makes Allah where Allah is not wholly one. Okay, so, but anyway. So let me, go ahead. Can I ask? Mm -hmm. So, but you would say 
that his hearing is not his seeing. Yes. Right. So these are distinct attributes. So we are talking of one Allah. Uh, right. Of, uh, so Allah is one, but he has these attributes. And these attributes don't leave him. Okay. Now that's okay. that's where I'd like to go after that. Okay. So I mean, you asked me about is, Islamic aqidah, right. right? In Islamic aqidah, Allah. His attributes are his. He can. Can I finish? Yeah. Man, you are. You are. I, you drank a lot of coffee this morning or something, man. No, no. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday we were talking to Hebrew Israelites. and it Turned into a shouting yeah, okay. match. Well, his, his aggression's yeah. a little okay. amped up. So, 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 hold on, hold on, Anthony, 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 Anthony. You're not talking to Hebrew Israelites. Your aggression needs to get toned down. That's not aggression. Right? You're just taking Look, too much offense. Your, your friend that's with you just called it aggression. Yeah. So, so don't tell me. He, he, was talking, he was talking to Hebrew Israelites last <laughs> you, night. You guys, <laughs> video this, right? <laughs> David is telling you it's aggression, so please tone it down, Anthony. You from your down. friend. He's helping your friend is telling you calm down. Why don't you listen to your friend that came with you? Okay, look like you're, you look on. like you're ready to jump over the table, man. Come right? <laughs> I like David. David, you? Yeah. Uh, how come we haven't met earlier, man? Anthony, I can tell you were a crook. <laughs> right. I can tell you were a shooter. Oh yeah, <laughs> still am. Let's go. You're crook. So, <laughs> that's what they called you, right? <laughs> go ahead. What? Mr. Hammer type, you two keep bumping fists over here. I'm just. We can bump fists. No, no, no. I got you, bro. Don't feel offended. No, no, no. All right. It's going well. So, do you remember where we're at? Yes, I do. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So, the the. The understanding that you are bringing is, is not where I'm at, but we're going to put that to a side and, and just go to, let, let me finish again, man, no, this no, guy, my finger up. I got you, what okay, let me, let what me give you, you let me give it to you, let, let me tell you, let me, let me speak and you'll know what I mean. Okay. When you say something is one and you say they're compartmentalized, they're taken up parts, right? It, it comes to an understanding, something that becomes like Legos, right? Something that, that can come apart and put back together, right? Allah is one. His characteristics are with him, always been with him, always will be with him. He can reveal, oh, you're smiling already. Look at that, right? He can reveal a part of his kalam, for example, the Quran, mm -hmm. but the Quran is always with him. You understand? Like if you take what's written, that is not the part of the kalam. That can be burnt, that can be ruined. Somebody could eat it, somebody could do something weird, right? But the kalam of Allah is always with him, always will be, not created. Okay? None of Allah's sifat are makhluk. You know what makhluk is? Yeah, creation. Yes. Creation. All right? So this is just the understanding we want to have as a base. Now, my question to you guys, if you don't mind, is do you believe God is one in the sense that he can become two and come back together? And would he still be the same? So this is why I do this. This is why I clarify this. All right, good. You have described Allah as one Although that does not preclude that he has sifat attributes, which would not Christians, take away. <laughs> Christians have classically made the same claim. Okay. Okay. I don't think a lot of Muslims know that this is the Christian view. So that, for example, at least with respect to the attributes of God, I mean, I think we go a bit further though. But when it comes to the person of the Trinity, your description of attributes. Asamu. Come. Your description of sifat. Come, man. You look, you look like you're bored, man. Come here. You're looking around, looking at... Your description of sifat... You got three guys. Assuming I'm understanding you correctly, and I'm granting there's a possibility there, there's a... I'm distance. sorry, what? Yeah, I know. He's playing for the camera. He's not three of you here? Uh, Can you not count? Or is it, is it one of you guys? I'm trying to understand. Go ahead. So when Christians speak mm -hmm. of God as triune, okay. we don't think of the persons as divisible. Okay. There's a hypostatic distinction. Now, if you're familiar with Islamic Kalam, you know that when, when Muslims classically have spoken of Allah's attributes, they've referred to them as hypostasis. They've given them hypostatic status. That's all Christians have ever said when it comes to the persons of the Trinity. So that for Christians, the persons of the Trinity are not divisible. We don't okay. believe in multiple gods. We're not polytheists. Okay. We believe that all persons of the Trinity co-inhere in the one divine essence, just like you would say, that multiple attributes co-inhere in one being. Now, I do think, though, there's a fundamental distinction between the Christian view and the Muslim view, which is there does seem to me, in some Islamic thought at least, and you could tell me this is not your view, there seems to be a radical bifurcation between Allah and his attributes. So, for example, I'll just give you an example, and you can tell me what you think of that. 
Some Muslims I talk to will tell me that Allah himself cannot be present in his creation, but his attributes can. The attribute of seeing, for example. So that, that's just... Let me, that's you want me to answer at. you? Yes. See how that's I, where we're at, and that's where... Do you see how I respectfully, even though I had a lot to say, I just okay. stayed quiet and listened to you? Did you, did you see that? Yeah, we're, we're okay. past that, come on. We're not, because... <laughs> okay, so, first thing, your delving in kalam, to me, is useless, right? Because I don't believe in ilm al-kalam. Okay? Uh, but I'm, I'm saying I thought that was your view, and you could correct me if that's not I, your view. I do not believe in ilm al-kalam, so obviously that's not my view. But I'm just using kalam in the sense of theology, like a key. Do you know what kalam is? Yeah. What is kalam? Well, it's philosophy, uh, but... Well, no, it's not. Uh, but that's it, falsafa. Uh, well, but it's... So you don't know what kalam is? It's the same is. idea. <laughs> it is not. Okay, well, go ahead. What is Kalam? Uh, go ahead. Listen, Anthony, what is Kalam? Because you brought it up, but obviously you don't understand what Kalam is. I, I'm, what I'm is just, Kalam? I'm just using it in the sense of people. I understand you're using it. Of Islamic Aqidah and coming to certain conclusions. I know that your methodology would be Quran and Sunnah. That's how you Hold derive on. your Aqidah. Anthony, you brought up Kalam. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking you, what is Kalam? Ilm al Kalam. What is it? It's not philosophy is falsafa. So what's Ilm al Kalam? They're related concepts. What are it's basically theology? It is not. From a Christian perspective, that's how uh, we view it. It's an, a Kalam as you're using it, understanding Islamic aqidah, right? Mm -hmm. What is Kalam? That, but that's what I'm telling you. You don't know. He's saying that's how he's using it. Okay, okay, I got you. So let me explain it to him okay. now. You go ahead. Anthony, you good? All right. So, philosophy is called falsafa. That's basic philosophy. Kalam is use of certain Greek principles, not philosophy in general, understand? In the use of understanding aqaid, and this is something that was brought on by the Asharis and the Maturudi in Ahlul Kalam. You know who those are? Mm -hmm. You know who Asharis are? Yes. Who started the Asharis? Uh, Ashari. What's his name? Ashari. That's just his name. <laughs> What's know, his I name? I not say his full name. You, you know you guys have <laughs> okay. like mile-long so, names. Right? No, no. Abu Hassan Ashari. It's pretty easy. It's uh, not a mile long. Well, it's his yeah. name is Al-Ashari. Yeah. That, that's right. a, that's a he, try. And he was reacting against people like the Hanbalis, or allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Atari Akri, Akira. Right. Am I correct? No, but let me, let me explain he, it. Like, he is trying to. Well, I know that I know that you guys would say the original Al Ashari. Uh, so sorry. let me ask this. Go ahead. You, I think maybe you would hold the position that Al Ashari originally held more of a Hanbali like approach, and then people later came <sighs> and said something else. Now, now let me explain this. Okay. Hanbali, if you're talking about the Madhab bin Fiqh. Yeah. But I'm thinking of their Aqidah. More okay. Of their so then you're talking about the Athari Hanbali Aqidah, yes. right? Yes. So that was the original aqidah from the time of the Prophet ﷺ, and that's what I follow today. Okay, so I don't follow ilm al kalam at all. In aqidah, I don't deal with it. When these Greek ideas started to seep in, do you understand? Then at that time, people started to misunderstand sifat by using ilm al kalam. Okay, even Abu al Hassan al Ashari, that's why I asked you if you really know who he is. He wrote a book called Al Diana fi, uh, Al Ibana fi Usul al Diana. I have it if you want to check it out, I'll bring it. I think we're moving. Yeah, we're just moving that's it off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got it, don't worry about it. Thank you. Here, you guys, get it? Just so you know, it sounds to me like you described Ilm al Kalam just how I'm using it. I'm it's not. not. You, I'm not saying you adopt that. <laughs> all right. I'm so, just saying uh, this is an area, this all is right, part so, of that area of discussion. So maybe David understood me because obviously you didn't. So okay. let me let me explain so it again. Okay. Okay. You with me now? Yeah. Philosophy is falsifa. Okay. In Arabic, that's what we call philosophy. Ilm al kalam is a totally different concept. It's a concept of taking certain principles of Aristotle's thought and bringing it in to understand the sifat of Allah. This is something that was rejected by all the earlier a'imma, like Abu Hanifa. You know Abu Hanifa. You know the four imams. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who are they? Uh, well, they might take me a second. Abu Hanifa. Uh, 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 Ahmed bin Hanbal. All right, you got two. Shafi. 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 One more. Shafi, hold on. You got this, Anthony. Uh, you can do it. Uh, I don't pretend to study fiqh. Just oh, so you know. But you, you, you see, so you know. okay. Well, I got three. We're talking about Aqidah uh, here. Uh, uh, Hanafi. No, nope, you already said Abu Hanifa. Hanafi. Hanafi. Yeah. Uh, I'll help you. Hanbali, Shafi. Uh, oh, David, for the rescue! Got you, got, you got to thank him for that one. Come on, man. Right. All right. Reminds me of King in Arabic, right. and I think it's similar in India. Okay, so now that use of kalam is something that was rejected by all of them. Okay, so leave kalam out of it in the discussion. No kalam. Okay. Now, even if we took those, those do not separate God 
from his creation, right? Meaning that that Allah is separate. They don't separate parts of his sifat to go and he can see, but that doesn't mean that he's a part of his creation. Okay? Just because you see something doesn't mean you're a part of that. Okay? Now, my question again now, as I understand and I want to understand your idea, because you're saying it's the same concept. So let me, let me just, okay, I mean, you said this is the same basic as kalam, so I just want to understand. I, I know what kalam is even though I don't use it, okay? So when you say Jesus was born out of Mary, right? Are we in agreement? Well, you go ahead and finish your point. That, and that's just a question. That's a restep. Okay. Yeah, I know. So I'm, I'm just asking this go question. Ahead. Was Jesus born out of Mary? Do I get to reply now? Because yes. there's a lot that's bound up in that. Because yeah. I don't okay. think that there's... So let, oh, me, let me clarify. When I talk about that, that whole area of discussion, Akita, Kalam, all that, I'm not saying you adopt that. All I'm getting sure. at is that this, this is that whole area of discussion that gives rise to all of this. The, what I said was that as Christians, we believe the persons of the Trinity, as to their divine nature and essence, co-inhere in the one divine being. My question to you was, does Allah's attributes, which you say are inseparable from him, have, uh, are, do they enter into his creation? Now you said, and, and see this is where I think it's being flipped. You said they don't become part of his creation. I'm not asking if they become part okay. of his creation. I'm asking if his, since Allah himself can't enter into creation, well, I nevertheless, didn't say that, but nevertheless you would say that his attribute of seeing is present. Yes. Okay. But is Allah present? So do you mean present physically in that? Or do, uh, let me, yes, uh, so if you mean is Allah present in knowing everything and seeing everything and hearing everything, then yes, Allah sees everything hears everything and knows everything. Okay, can I finish? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about himself, his nuzul and all that he has said, we believe in it as he has revealed it. Okay, but we don't mix the creator and the creation. Now, you, you, you went around my question, you said you were going to answer, but you didn't. Was Jesus born from Mary's womb? So, again, just remind me if I don't get to this part. Because okay. I'm trying to make sure you're, you're trying to build on where we're at, and I'm just trying right. to make sure we're at the same so spot. Pretty simple question there. Yeah, it was simple, right. but I haven't even tried to answer it yet. So, I wish you would. So, what I'm saying is, what is it then about Allah that isn't present if his attribute of seeing is, is here? Okay. And there's a sense in which you can say he's here in the sense of seeing, okay. but he's not here in what sense? Okay. And then, do you want my answer to the other part? Yes. Okay. Jesus, because we don't believe that God is absent from his creation, he's upholding all things. There's no sense in which he could be absent. He's not his creation. Right? He's not any part of it. Okay. Right? When we say that God is present, we don't mean that he is the things that are here. He is present upholding everything. Everything is upheld by his power. So nothing could be apart from him. It exists by virtue of him. When the Son of God takes on a human nature, it's not the Son of God now entering creation for the first time. He's already present God is omnipresent classically, according to Judaism and Christianity. The Son of God is now taking into union with himself a human nature, and by virtue of that is being born. It's not his divine nature, that's, it's not coming into being, it's not starting to exist at that point, it's not uh, in some sense now becoming present, whereas before it wasn't. Does that address what you were asking? No, not at all. So then what were you asking? Okay, so my question very simply, was Jesus born from Mary's womb? That was the simple question. Yes, well that's the answer is yes. That, and, okay, that's the answer, yes. 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 Okay, so let me understand this now, a deeper understanding. God, who is not separable, so he is still God, was in the belly of a woman and came out of the womb of a woman. God did. God took on a human nature and was really born. So, so, so your belief is that that one great creator came out of the womb, the vagina of a woman. 
Absolutely. All right, well, thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. Have... Yeah. Let me let me explain. Let, let me let me. Wait, wait, do you want that. me to answer him? Oh yeah, you can answer him. But what I'm getting at is, okay. don't, don't pretend that you refuted Christianity just because oh, okay. you, you've so, rolled your eyes at it. Let me. This is this is the historic Christian position, okay. which your religion later came along and claimed that it was confirming and correcting at, at points of its departure, which you believe from what was originally true. You don't refute Christianity by eye rolling. Surely you know that, right? What is your argument against that? Okay. Do you want me to speak? Yeah. Okay. I'm not here to refute Christianity. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to give dawah. I am a da'i, not a debater. You misunderstood it. If you wanted to come and debate, you can come and debate. No problem. Let me explain this. When I said, thank you very much, that means in my mind, it, and anybody, I think, who has basic logic would not believe that the creator of the universe was born through the vagina of a woman. I, 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 that's me. That, that's my belief. If you believe that, I respect your right to believe that. To me, that doesn't make any sense. And let me, let me finish. Take it easy, Crook. Take it easy. Stop jumping. Take okay, it easy. Shooter, so, on. thank Start you. Shooting. I'm, I'm shooting. Shoot. But, yeah, so, shoot. so, here, to me, that makes absolutely no sense. To think that the creator of the universe was now, and, and he still is, even if he's in human form, because he said he's still one, was in the womb of a woman, and came out of the vagina of a woman, uh, uh, this is the creator of the universe. To me, that doesn't make sense. To me, that's sense. a human. Is that makes sense turn? to you? Sense is it my turn? Hold on. Right. It didn't. So, so now it's my turn, right? Go ahead. Now let me just explain to you guys a critical issue. Sure. If, any, if anybody takes a basic class in logic, rhetoric, or anything like that, and I'm not saying you haven't. I, I think you're a smart guy. I'm not, Thank you. I appreciate not, that. That's not even me being disingenuous. I think he's a smart guy, and I say that about people all the time. I think people can be smart that I disagree with. Sure. But you do know that there's a difference between making an assertion and making an argument. Sure. It's, it's an assertion to say that doesn't make sense sure. and to say that you think nobody who says that is even being logical or is logical or what have you. Sure. The vast majority of people on the planet happen to believe that or something along those lines. Yes, and I've heard you say things to that effect. Vast majority? That, yeah. that would be more than 50% you're no, 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 saying. No, no, but what I'm saying is... I don't think Christians are more than 50% no, no, no. of the planet. What I'm saying is, so first of all, in, in history, Christians have been a majority. But, but, no, but I, what I'm saying is there are other groups that would say things that you would think are analogous to that. Do you not? Don't Do you want me to that? answer? Okay, I'm just you. listening. See, like, okay. see, David asked you to be, I'm Go listening. Ahead. Okay. First thing, the vast majority taking something or not taking is not, doesn't really matter to me. Second thing, I didn't make an argument. I gave you my opinion. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That was my All point. Right. That Good. was my point. But, but, and I, and I wasn't arguing that the majority makes it. You see true. how you cut me off again? No. I, I, David. No, this is David, come on. Be fair, bro. Come on, David. He needs your help. He uh, needs I, the help of You need it. You, he, he, you need his help. You, you need. You see this? Take, you see this? Don't take you the guys see this? for your friends. You see this? Come on now. You don't need his help. You see this? You don't he just, need David, you, this is what you came to represent? Come on, guy. We're still Seriously, talking. David? We're still talking. <laughs> You're not. We're not talking because you keep cutting me off, bro. No, no. I'm just saying we're. this is this is what we've established now. You have only rolled your eyes at it. I, when, I said, me, when I said the majority have held this, I'm not making an argument here either. Okay. I'm just saying it doesn't. that's not an argument, and so you, I think you need to do something better than First that. thing, the majority of, of the world today is not Christian. All right. This, this is, I mean, if you have 2 By billion out of 7 just, billion, that's not a... No, well, no, no, okay, yeah, so, the, so the majority would not believe... Yes in Jesus being born because right. Hindus and others would also not believe in that but as was, Muslims, okay? So let me just clarify that, right? If you can, right? Well, I think we're good, we're good, right? So, so, so that, that doesn't even make sense, first off, what you're saying, right? Because you're saying the majority would believe that concept of Jesus being born and that's not true, right? So let's leave, you know, misconception out of it because that's not true to begin with, right? No, no, that's not how I intended it. Though. But you, you, that's what you said. Yeah, let me just clarify. I think okay. he's saying that you saying, you know, if you say something like, well, that just sounds weird or crazy no, no. to me. Well, he's saying most on of the, the world, concept of God being born out of the yeah, vagina of a woman. Doesn't find that absurd. Even if they don't believe it. Really? I, I don't know. How, how, wait, hold on, hold on. Can I, who, who am I dealing with here? Because you guys are all jumping in and out. Can I deal with one, two, three, four? You seem to want to avoid the points. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm getting to the point, okay. right? So the point is to say the majority of the world, 
does not have an objection to God being born out of the vagina of woman is not correct because that's a Christian belief. Hindus, for example, and I've spoken to many, would not agree with that concept, right? Neither would Muslims, neither would some Buddhists, depending on who they are, neither would Jews. Many Jews would disagree, right? So that's what your statement was factually incorrect. My but that's not really the point. No, it is. Okay, go ahead. If I move on, then I get to respond to that. Let's go ahead. The point was conceptually. You're, you're making the category mistake of people accepting okay. it as true and people accepting it as, as logical or rational. Something can be false and okay. still be logical, right? Let me give you an example. Sure, I'm listening. It's, it's not irrational for somebody to be walking down the street right now with an umbrella. That doesn't mean somebody is walking down the street with an umbrella. That, there's a difference between making something that's logically possible uh, as a claim and somebody making a factually true statement. Okay. What I was getting at is that conceptually the world has not held that. When you enlist people like Jews, for example, that's not really helping because Jews, how many Jews are there in the world? Uh, you know that, uh, you know, as well as I do, there's not that many in the world and certainly not compared to either Islam or Christianity. The vast majority of people have not considered the Christian belief irrational that the creator could enter into his creation or be present in his creation which is basically the same idea. The vast majority have not thought that, even if the vast majority have not believed it. Although I would say statistically, more people are Christian than there are Muslims or other religions. Can I speak now? Yes. See how I listen? Right? Great. You now, did a good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's see if you can. Okay. okay. So no. now, when you said the vast majority of the, of the world has does not agree with what I'm saying, right? Or has no problem with that concept. You have no evidence for that. You're making an assumption. Let me speak because the vast majority is not Christian, right? And the other groups of faith, you're making an assumption on their behalf, which I am only assuming for myself. I said to me, that doesn't make sense, right? I didn't make a claim that the vast majority of the world would agree with me. But when you say the vast majority, again, this guy, man, this guy. Are you okay? You're I'm okay. No, 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 no. Look, look, this is the, look how I listened when he was speaking. Yeah, so, 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 so I am dealing with the issue, right? The issue is that your claim is wrong because you're making an assumption about the vast majority of the world. But again, like David said, I think you're just going off just because you took a tangent. You. Right? No, I'm talking about, talking about me. Are you talking about, about me or him? Hold no, I'm talking about the whole this the whole the whole discussion. Okay. So, so, I, so, I think I think I mean it, I think the point he's he's simply making hmm. is Hindus, of course, reject Christianity. But sure. It's not on the base. They're not saying we reject it because it's absurd to think of God being born. Right. Because if their scripture said it, they would say, okay, we, we have no problem. But you're making an assumption on the Hindu belief that they would accept that. I, I'm thinking of what Hinduism teaches. Right. They but, believe, but, but they believe again, all kinds of things like Christian. Right. Sure. That, that but, shows that they would not have a problem again, with that in I, itself. I will not make an assumption if they would or would not believe in Islamic doctrine was in their books. And you should not make an assumption that they would or would not believe believe a Christian no. doctrine that would be in their books. First I, was yeah. responding to you. First, I was responding to you saying nobody would believe this. This is absurd. It's illogical. Logical people wouldn't believe this. And I'm pointing out to you, the vast majority of people have not found that conceptually. Where is that correct. evidence for that? The, 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 the evidence for it is that you don't have it. That's the whole point. I didn't make no, the claim. No, you did. No, no, no. You, made, you made the claim that the vast majority of people would see that as illogical. Did I, David? Yes, we got it on tape. Did I okay. make that claim? So, so wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 so wait, wait, wait. We, we, we got this on tape. We're okay. on a wait, 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 wait. David, what's your name? Lewis. Lewis. Let's just be honest here. Did I make the claim that the vast majority of the world would find it objectable? Illogical. Did I make that claim? Illogical. Illogical. Did I make that claim, Lewis? Why didn't you make that claim? Thank you. David, did I make that claim? Even stand uh, here. I'd have to look at the footage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that I? doesn't mean you <laughs> 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 It's irrelevant. It is relevant because okay. when you see... Hold on, Dave, Anthony. Bro, <laughs> listen. When you are trying to put words in my mouth no, and no, claiming that I Slow made down. claims that I didn't make, and your friend David and your friend Lewis there also yeah. know better, even no. if no. he wasn't here, he then he's out. But David was standing here the whole time, yeah, and we got it on tape. Yes. I did we not make that claim. Okay. I Can repeatedly. Get to a point yeah, of yeah, substance? Okay, let me say this. You, you, you let me guys say this. move the point let, then. Let's so. just, the vast majority of people on the planet happen to believe that or something along those lines. Yes, I think you're kind of making this an issue of bad faith, meaning like there's ill will here, okay? Well, there is when you put words in my mouth, right? Listen, this is what I'm trying to tell okay. you. Okay. 
It's. I don't think I'm wrong. I think I heard you accurately. Okay. It's possible I'm wrong. I'm willing okay. to grant that. I'm certainly not saying it because I'm trying to put words in your mouth. Right. right. It's, it's possible. Right. Jesus. Right. No. Listen. What? Listen. Are you trying to? Here, are you here. trying to go here, somewhere here. else here, here. Louis? No. You, you guys need to pick who's going to speak because now he's brought up a topic okay. that he's trying to take a shot right here. Right. One. Okay. One guy. Books are sorry. Good, by the, the way. They'll be okay, but um, but can you guys can you as a group pick who's going to be the one speaking? You're, you're, no, no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, you, you guys are trying to throw jabs that if I respond to you now, then he's going to tell me I'm getting off topic. So you you guys need to you guys need to referee this first. No, you did throw a jab. You said the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam put words of Jesus. That's a jab because that's not true. That's a false statement. So that's a false statement. Accurately? Yes. Okay. okay, so now this is this is, this is how you are trying to take the discussion to a de language. separate. Do you want me to respond to you now? Is this a discussion now, or, or are you going to tell well, me? Are you hijacking this discussion? No, well, Thank you, David. I'm, I'm not shaking. Okay. You're shaking, so and, I, and I'll shake all you guys. Oh, okay. That's why you're jumping in because okay, so you know this is getting bad for you. Let's get right. back. Let's get back. Yeah, to so, so, so David, the that, I'll tell you what. Was the listen. Virgin birth, the son of God, God. Okay. And it's so, views on excellent. on so, the nature of God. So right. Let, let, let's let David referee this, all right? Because I don't want then him okay. to be jumping and him but to be jumping. Do you jumping. understand what I was saying? I, I do understand right what you're saying. Yeah. That, that even if you think I got you wrong, it doesn't have to mean that I'm Excellent. trying to make you look. Better, I appreciate that, right? Because that's thank not you. what I'm trying to right. do. Thank you. Right. Okay. All right. So let me and let you referee, because I don't want to then be having you guy and this guy, right? I know you guys are all excited. It's good, okay. right? Now. I'm not going to speak for Hindus, I'm not going to speak for Jews, I'm not going to speak for the most of the world, that I let them speak to what they believe, even an Islamic doctor, I'm not going to make claims about them, okay? As myself, as a Muslim, as Uthman standing here, I'm telling you, to me, if you come and tell me that the basis of your religion is that God put himself, that he impregnated a woman named Mary, and she became then his mother. He impregnated his mother and came into the womb of, of Mary and then was born out of a vagina. To me, the conversation's over. Your religion to me has no appeal because to me that just that's just disgusting and doesn't make sense. My personal view, right? I respect your right to have your now, view. Now, do you think, and I'm not going to get into that now, but do you okay. think that I find certain things about Islam sure. repugnant or attractive or not? Sure. Okay. Do you think that it would be rational for me to reject Islam on the basis of my personal revulsion? Okay. Do you want me to answer? Yeah. Okay. Your personal belief has to do with you. Mm -hmm. If you don't like something in Islam, you have the right to reject. Mm -hmm. you, you, I didn't come up to you at your table and bring this. You came to me. Are you, right? you technically invited I, I did. I you did. technically and, invited us. Can I, can I speak? So, I invited you. You came. You presented your view. To me, it doesn't make sense. I reject it. Right? Mm -hmm. You came. If you want, I will give you the Islamic view. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, you can reject and walk up, yeah. have a nice day in Dabo Park. So, so my invitations for this conversation, I, the, I'm not here to debate. As I said earlier, I'm a da'i, not a debater. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to debate like you apparently do, you're welcome to come here. But if I disagree, if I feel that this doesn't I mean God coming in the vagina of a woman and being born and the universe and he's Here's his, God put his nose again, look at, look at this, look at this guy. David, come on, he man. Not? No, he did not. He put his nose in the vagina of a woman? Who he, blew he, into Mary's wait, wait, vagina? Wait, wait, wait. Where did God put his nose in the vagina of a woman? Who blew into Mary's vagina? Nobody, he's not asking, God. Wait, wait, wait. Bring, 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 bring me. No, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Lewis, if, you, if you're going to jump in, then handle it. No, no, if, you, if you're going to jump in. Wait, wait. See, see, David, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Exactly. I said people don't jump in, and I asked you to regulate it, and you did it, and now he jumped in again. I don't control everyone. You brought these people. People with you. Okay. But, but. No, 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 no. Hold on. You guys, you guys are. See, when 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 I'm at a point, you guys, you guys are letting people. Because now I could, I could totally answer him. But no, no, debate. it's not a debate. It's an answer. Do you, you know what the I difference is? No, no, you didn't. You made a false statement. Right? Bring me evidence. Let people Bring me evidence how that about, God put. Hold on. God put this? His nose he, he in the vagina of woman. My God. Bring me evidence. How about we do this? Well, Bring it when evidence. You and I are done. You have the Quran in your hand. Bring me evidence. When, when you and I you are got done, none. When you are derailed. You when, got none. You're derailed. When, you got none. You tried to derail. You, you, you know better. Don't lie, man. When you and I are done, yeah. then you guys can do that. Okay. 
You see David? When you All right. Look, All right, let's go back. Hey, okay. Hey. So who's speaking now? I, 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 just, I, just, I just wanted to. Yeah, I just wanted to. I just wanted to kind of clarify. That's the only time I jump in. When, when I, I agree. You can jump in. I'm saying is, can you regulate so we don't have some guy trying to make some yeah, false but, statement here and there? If you yeah, can't, yeah, but then, then we're going to make a line. If someone walks up, I can't say you can't speak. That's is he not, not with your group? Um, I mean, come on, come on, don't, don't, don't lie, no, don't lie. He came earlier to I check out. I, 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 I know him. Yeah, no, you know no, him. He's not with our group. But, so but you I, know I, him, I know right? Yeah. So he knew you were coming or no? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I, I did not no, 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 it, it doesn't. I didn't, I didn't tell him a word. I yeah, no see, you see this? Hey, I told no one except my wife and him and I can tell you. him. And did you know he was coming? Did I know who was coming? David Wood. He obviously knew. He obviously knew. Is he again? Now, <laughs> he's the one jumped in. Now you want to talk about sidetracking. All right. We had, Go ahead. This, we had this thing planned and then some things. You did out. have it a plan. So that's what I'm saying. When you here. plan this, then you can yeah. control this, right? Yeah. Well, no, but my, what I'm saying is we okay. had planned that some so, of us were coming here to talk. Let's to ignore you. Lewis then. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to put yeah. you on mute. You guys, you guys All right. have the finish. Right, now, so so I, I, think, I think the issue is, right? Okay. So you obviously want people to learn about Islam yes and you're inviting people to Islam yes and I think the point that Anthony is making is if our response was well we don't like Muhammad and Aisha or we don't like this sure. or that that's fine I think I think your response would be well if it's true you need to believe it anyway and not just because you don't like something right that's and I think so what he's saying is the question about Christianity should be, is this true? Not, oh, I don't like that idea. So I think that's a, a that's what you're trying to get at. So, right? and, and let me I think he put in. that pretty well, and, and David. Let me put this in, because uh, let me because I would agree with. Let me say this. Should I answer him now? But or? This, this goes with that. You, you're not that. Like, well, I mean, I did talk. No, no. Okay, so can I? This, this goes with that. Is I, that I, the point you're making? Let me, let me, let me. Yeah. So what I'm saying is though, is if you could show me, for example, mm -hmm. I give you an example. I think you would agree with this as a logical you know, manner of procedure. If there was something I didn't like in Islam, mm -hmm. but somebody could demonstrate, let's say, that the source on which that claim is based is true, came okay. from God, right? Okay. Like the Quran or the Hadith, uh, some particular Hadith, then in my mind, it doesn't matter whether I have some natural reaction to this or not, I ought to believe it. And I'm saying the same thing when it comes to Christianity and Christian claims. Okay. If the Bible proclaims this, and the Bible's the Word of God, and I know you don't hold that, obviously. You do. Right? Yeah, of course I do. And I know you think it has contradictions, and I know that all the standard ones you think that you have and all that, and I, and I have all my reasons for thinking the Quran has contradictions. I mean, I know the back and forth claims. We've done this for years, you've done this for years. I'm just saying, with what he said, I think there's something more for both of us than simply, that's distasteful to me. I don't think that makes sense, right? There's, there's got to be something behind your reason for being a Muslim beyond, I like it. Are you done? I just, I just want to add an example. I just want to add an example. So, uh, because I mentioned, because I mentioned, you know, like Muhammad and Aisha. So if I said, you know, I find that problematic or something like that, if you somehow show that Islam is true, in my mind, my mind, the way I think, I would be like, okay, well. If this is from God and I've got a problem with that, then I'm the one with the problem. I'm the Good. one with the problem, all right. and I need to believe God. So, yeah, that, that's that's all he's saying. If, if God says, if right. God says, hey, I'm entering creation, who are we? Yeah, then who are we? Okay. So, just now, I want to understand, and I want to have a productive conversation here. Okay. First thing, what, the misconception that I think you might have that I'd like to clarify is, if you come, I'm here to present Islam to you. Okay? And if you decide that there is some core concept, like the marriage of Aisha is not an aqidah concept, right? So that's something totally different, right? But a core concept of Islamic aqidah, Allah is one, okay? Allah sent prophets, Allah sent books, Allah sent guidance, Allah is merciful, Allah will judge, there's the day of judgment. Uh, there is, you know, if you believe that that was something problematic to you, I would present it, then I would tell you it's up to you. Hidayah is not from me. Guidance? I'm translating, is not from me, it's from Allah. Allah gives guidance, right? It is not upon us except to convey the message clearly, right? So, if you disagree with something in the core aqidah of Islam, you have the right not to believe, go enjoy your day at Balboa Park. I'm not pushing. You feel me, David? Okay, you feel me, Crook? Good. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. But now I'm not done, bro. Let me let whoa, me continue. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I listened to questions. both of you the whole time. Go I didn't on, I didn't ahead. even get to his answer yet. Thank you. I All right. You were done. No, I'm not. 
All right. So now, when we get to the core concept of God coming into the womb of a woman and being born and then being sacrificed for our sins, so, so He takes the sins of mankind and instead of us being responsible, to me, all of that makes no sense. Right? To me, personally, it doesn't make sense. To me, I don't believe that's from God. Right? I don't believe that's a just God that somebody pays for everybody else's sins, right? To me, that's not just. And I have a core hard belief that Allah is just. Okay? So, in that case, if you are here to present Christianity, no thank you. Have a nice day. So, by the same token, because mm -hmm. again, I mean, all we're doing now is exchanging, you know, feelings. We're not. You said that certain Sean. things are contrary to your particular constitution, mm -hmm. right? Your makeup causes you to, you know, I have that same feeling towards Islamic beliefs. And I've tried to be gracious in this. I, appreciate I know it. what you find, you know, disreputable with sure. respect to Christianity. But I equally look at things in Islam and I say, for example, that to me is quite questionable. Like? For example, the idea that Allah has loins. Have you ever heard this claim? You want, to, you want me to tell you or you want to finish well, first? So I'll finish. I'm just, so okay. here, the idea that Allah has loins as part of his characteristics, his sifat, that he has a shin, that this is going to be an identifiable, uh, identifiable sifat attribute uh, uh, that by which people are going to believe in him on the final day. Uh, a number of other notions associated with that. I have, I find problematic the notion of a religion that would object to God entering into his creation, even though in various Islamic sources, it seems to borrow from Jewish and Christian beliefs the things that, that you're objecting to, like Allah entering into his creation. Does Allah not descend to the lowest heavens in the third part of the night? Uh, does Allah, you know, not, did he not speak to Moses at the right side of Mount Sinai, Surah 19, Surah 20, 27, 28? Do we not find these beliefs? So you have, you find objectionable that God entered into his creation. I'm saying God's always present with his creation. The virgin birth is not God entering into his creation. It's God now entering, uh, taking into union with himself a human nature and living a real human life, including all of the experiences that go along with that, being born, you know, suffering, dying, rising again, and so forth. So, so, all, so just remember, here's the basic point, mm -hmm. right? Well, even if you don't agree with my illustrations here, right? My basic point is this. Just because you don't like those ideas doesn't mean I don't like certain ideas in Islam. And, I, uh, and, and there has to be more to it than just, I don't like that, you don't like that, you know. I, this isn't, like, doesn't, doesn't Muhammad in the Quran say, let us reason, let us argue, let us debate? Didn't Muhammad have debates with the Christians of Najran? Those are all aspects of, now just so you know, no, no, just so you know, don't laugh. Should I start taking notes because you're going on like 10 okay. points. I'm, this is no, no, my, I want to take this, notes on okay. each point. So this, I'm saying like, instead of going okay. point by point, we are going to loins and... What do you want him to respond to? Okay. Yeah. So, so this is my last point. Okay. <laughs> this is actually something I like about Islam, so don't take this away from me. All right. The fact that Muslims, in contrast to other religions, are so willing to engage. Excellent. It's the, it's the one thing, not the one thing. I'm not going to say there's nothing I'm else. sure you like a lot of things yeah. about Islam. So, like what I'm beer. saying is... The you one like the thing, beer? I know. You know you like Islam. Man. You know he likes it. <laughs> He knows he goes make dua to Allah at the end. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to this. You can put this on your YouTube channel. Don't worry. When I look, uh, yeah, yeah, no when I look at uh, you know a Jewish person, mm -hmm. sometimes I think I wonder if he'd like to talk to me about religion, about the Lord. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Probably not. I look at another person, Hindu. Yeah, he's probably going to be upset that I'm interrupting his walk down the road. Right. I look at a Muslim. I say he'll talk to me. Yeah. He'll talk to me. He'll okay. argue with me. He'll I'm reason glad. with me. I'm, you know what? And, and to respond to that compliment, first off, I, I also appreciate the fact that Christians and Muslims can usually have a civil conversation. All right. So, second, just to make a clarification, you said Muhammad said in the Quran. The Quran's not the words of Muhammad, I so that's. Yeah, but I know that's not right? So I'm just clarifying. Muhammad not. Muhammad doesn't say anything in the Quran. The Quran speaks to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So I don't think he was speaking to himself. So let's move forward from there. Secondly, you made a lot of things like loins and sifat and shin. So I don't know if you want me to get into all of that because see, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I want to say point by point and not have jumps here and there. No, no, no. Let me. Oh, come on, man. No, no, no. I'm not trying to cut him off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let, let's be gracious no, no. to our guests it's, that came from so far away. It's not me trying to cut you off. I'm just saying I didn't need you to 
respond to those points. I'm just, you do. Those were illustrations. No, but of, they're of, wrong. But, okay. So I do so, need to respond. So what to I'm them. saying is you can say they're wrong, but they, I didn't bring them up in order for us to resolve those. I know, but. I'm saying those are things I find see, objectionable Anthony, so in the Islamic exactly. sources. Crook. Bro, Shooter, if, if, that's what I'm saying. So if I t if I'm having this conversation and suddenly I'm like, there's an alien sitting over there, and you're like, what? And I'm like, no, no, don't respond to that. No, when you throw when you throw misconceptions out, then I have to respond to them, just like Lewis, right? Uh, so let's so let's, let's talk about the lines uh, in the shin. Okay, right. excellent, let's excellent. Let, let's get there, okay? Okay. But let, let's go back to the first point because then we're just jumping, right? As a lot of Christians do, but I'm hoping we will not, right? You're saying God was always present, so Jesus in every by that, by himself, in his creation, so that Jesus coming in the womb of the Mary was not something new, which really is something baffling to me. Are, are you saying God physically, like Jesus physically was in the womb of Mary, is in your private? I mean, is that your you belief? That? Yes, please. We don't believe that God is a physical being as to his divine uh, nature. Okay. So, so I mean, God is not, not physical. I'm not sure why that's funny. Uh, but do you, guys, do you guys think God is physical? Do you want me to respond well, now? Or? But I, somebody's laughing. I just okay, found that. so let me, do you want me to respond? Think, I, you I, asked I, a question, do you want me to answer it then? Well, not yet then. Okay. Let me just say this, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> All right, I don't go ahead. think that God's divine nature is a tangible stuff. I don't think that God is, we can't touch him, smell him, feel him, see him. Uh, he doesn't have extension in space. Will uh, you see God? Uh, so, by virtue of the incarnation, number in one. In the day of judgment. By virtue of the incarnation, God has taken on human form. So he so is physical. He, his human nature, which he assumed in the womb of the Virgin Mary, is physical. So God... It shouldn't be puzzling. That's it is puzzling. Classic, it is puzzling. It's still you, puzzling. We, we shouldn't be learning it right now. Uh, I've, I've heard it many times. Okay. Still, if somebody tells me 2 plus 2 is 5, they could tell me that a hundred times. It'll still that's be puzzling analogy. to me. Yeah, I don't think uh, that's look, true. I'm making a statement about my understanding, so don't think okay. it's a false analogy. I'm saying, to me, if somebody was to tell me 2 and 2 is 5, it would be puzzling even if I heard it a million times. I'm talking about myself, so it's not mm -hmm. a false analogy. Well, Let me explain to you. I'm talking about my feelings there, guy. Calm down there. All right? Now. Two plus two on your feelings. How I feel about that is my feelings. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, this guy just can't, man. This guy. All right. This guy. So. Let me go. He did have a lot to respond okay, to. No, Thank you, Dave. Man, yeah, I can't believe Mr. Hammer is the one that actually is. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Come on. You're the good guy. Wow. Well, right. Even it out, though. We Come cool. On. We there cool, we man. I'm waiting for sound, but it's all right. Uh, Asumu, I'm sorry. Asumu. His name uh, is Asumu. Just, just, so, just you know, so you know, I, I can't by... control Sam. <laughs> oh, I, I bet you can. And let me say this. His name is Sam. There are people who intentionally call him by his full name when he prefers to go by Sam. What did his parents and name it's him? And it's intended to be insulted. Oh, I didn't mean to insult him. I'm not saying he's okay. insulted. Okay. I'm just telling you that people that perhaps have told you to call him that Nobody might, told might you not to call have either him. known or might have known. Okay. But just, what did his parents name him? Uh, I'm assuming his full name is uh, Hassan. I'm, okay. I'm not saying he I takes that offensive. Okay, if he doesn't, that's all good. If he does, I won't I'm call just, him that. I'm just okay. telling you that. So let's let's go back to. So, when you say that God manifested in the womb of a woman into a human form, and then that was God inside the womb. So God was physically a baby in the womb of a mother, and then God, the Creator of the universe, He's still all together physically came out of the womb of a mother to me again that and I don't know if anybody else finds that troubling but well, what I, do you, what's I, the troubling I, part what's the argument all of it <laughs> it's not an argument again you know, you're, you're, that's what you're, I'm saying okay. 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 Can I ask one question for clarification and this is just it, I just want to know what you're saying are you saying that God can't do that or he just wouldn't do that excellent because there's so, a difference there's sure. things I can't do and things I just wouldn't do agreed so when we talk about God, and, and you guys have debated with atheists, so you already know that whole God can't lift a rock thing, right? That there are certain things that are against the nature of the greatness of God as it is, right? From that, that God, if you can say, can't get, can God made a rock he can't lift? Well, that is only suddenly a question that you ask because from the nature of God is greatness, right? That he's able to do all things, right? So it's like saying, can Anthony be uh, a, a man and woman at the same time, which uh, now we're over in California, but it ain't happening, bro, right? Right. So, so that there's, right? So from the nature, um, uh, they're one or the other, whatever they think they are, all right? So, right? So here we go to, to me, that goes against the nature of God. Right, because this is this is something that is human, born from wombs and breastfeeding and burping and peeping and pooping. This is not something I can attribute to God. 
right? In my belief, right? In what I understand to be correct. Again, and I love to have a conversation and we're having a conversation. But like I said, uh, I'm not going to force Islamic belief on you. If you have an issue with the creed, aqeedah, then you have the right not to believe it. It's your right. Allah will judge between me and you. It's not a problem, right? But my job is to present, okay? So in your presentation that I asked you for, and I appreciate the presentation that God physically, not, you know, by seeing or sight, was in the womb of a woman, came out of vaginas, that's against the nature of God in what I see. Okay, that, and that again, again, that's my personal belief. So, not so just just to give the, the simple version. When he asked, can he do it or would he do it? Which one of those were you addressing there? So, to me, it sounded like you, in some sense, were addressing both. But I think the fundamental claim is that he can't do it. It's against his nature. Yeah, and, Thank you. And for, is that right? For, for, sure. For, I mean, as, as an example, like if you were to ask me, can God ride a bicycle? Right. I would say, well, I don't think he would. But he could, if he wanted to, for some reason, God could take on a form right. and ride a bicycle. Uh, just like, you know, for t if you're talking about, you know, the Quran and uh, Allah speaking on the fire, I don't know what, it, what you believe there. I believe God could do that. I do so too. So it's, it's a, it's a, it, okay. there's that distinction. Sure. I believe so God me... can enter into his creation in the form of a human being or... Okay. God's more along the lines of, well, I have the power to do that, but there's no way I would do that. It's beneath me or something like right. that. So, so let me just give you an example, right? And I think it'll clarify this, right? Do you believe God would have sexual intercourse with a woman? I believe God has the power to do that if he wanted to, but he, he wouldn't He wouldn't want to because of his moral his moral nature. Thank you. So let's, I mean, let's say a wife. Now, that's not, that's not immoral to have sex with a wife, right? I mean, you have a wife, I'm assuming. Right. So I'm sure you have intercourse, right? Lots. Right. Although she might watch the video and put a different comment, take it easy, right? Yeah, All right. That. So now the point, <laughs> the point there being that that's not immoral, right. right? So would God do that? Get wife and have sex with her? Yeah, but again, it's not a question of power or ability. It's a, it's a question of he, he just he, he it's against that. his nature, it, right? Yeah. yeah. So is that, is thank that, you. Is that, 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 you're, is that what you're saying? No, he's he's saying, saying. Hold on. Saying. I'm yeah. asking you if somebody was to ask you, can God get married and have sex with a woman? I would, what would, I would you clarify, say? say, as far as power, God has the ability to do anything that doesn't entail a contradiction or a couple of qualifications like that. Um, as far as things that he would actually do, he's not going to contradict his own moral nature. Thank right? you. So I would say again, God would not contradict his own nature by being born out of the vagina of a woman. And so we're on the same page. When you say, when you say that he wouldn't contradict his nature, you're thinking more in terms of metaphysical quality. I, and what I mean here is just his greatness, for example. You're not thinking mostly in terms of moral categories. You're thinking in terms of greatness. Uh, so, this sort of thing is beneath him. I think the. So I, I think is that, I. Is that correct? Tell me an answer. Yeah. Okay. So I think I, I gave the answer exactly with the analogy that I gave, right? Okay. Just like Anthony, if I was to ask you, right, as I asked David, could God get a wife and have sexual intercourse with her? You would say that's against the nature of God. Right? I'm assuming, right? So what I would say. Oh, what would you? Say? That's why I was trying to clarify. Go ahead. Were, you, were you making it more metaphysical or moral? My answer is. Would God do this sort of thing? You're saying it's contrary to his greatness. And my whole point is precisely that's why Jesus needed to become a human being, because the sorts of things that Jesus did are otherwise outside of the parameters of what is possible within his divine right. nature. God, for example, cannot die. How Good. can he die then unless he took a human nature? Okay. Right? So, so what I'm getting at is you're not presenting a contradiction so much that God couldn't do this, you just think that your God wouldn't do this. So it's not so much a metaphysical problem as it is for you something else. That's so what it should seems I, to me. So, yeah. so you are saying that God could and did have sex with a woman? Uh, if, if, Jesus, that, that, if Jesus wanted to get married, absolutely. Do you think it's contrary to the nature of God for people to have these... So let me put it this way. Uh, let me, let you're this saying way. God did have sex with no, a woman? No, 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 no. So when I was saying no, you, you jumped all, out, right? No, 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 did, that's not all I said. So he, can I, he said yes before you finished. So, so, you, so you, you see? You said... You said, uh, you said uh, uh, Come so on, even saying, it out, even it out, come on. <laughs> so you see why you should let me finish before no, you say yes? You say, I, no, I right, David? Yeah, right, David? Right, David? No. See, it's too late. You just, you just 
Muslim. You're Muslim. Okay. Now, right? no. <laughs> Should we no, do the shahada now or later? No, no so listen. So <laughs> that's, look, that's look, I don't why, why don't you let me finish what I'm saying before you respond? I, okay, How about that? Because you were saying. No, you didn't. Go ahead. Because Go ahead. I was saying, do you think God could have sex with a woman? And you said he did. Uh, I, oh, okay. uh, uh, what? Okay, no, what, Anthony? If, that's no, no, true. You're right. If you're right, uh, man. No, no, no. Are we, are we, right. What are we doing? I, no, we, no, no, that's fine. No, that's good. I think yeah, you, you I said. You, yeah, I thought. I thought you said. Do you, again, I think you added something on after he started answering. But you, because uh, I hadn't you finished. Saying, yeah, that's you were saying. Uh, you I didn't God, add anything. Do you think God could have sex with a woman? And Anthony was saying, if that were part of his plan, that once he had entered creation as Jesus of Nazareth, then okay. as a human being, he would have the ability to do that. Yeah. So, like so let me say Interesting. That. That's let, a new thing too. Let, I, I've never let, heard a Christian say that before. Let, let me so explain you, let something. Me, Can I oh say man, this? Man. No, no, I didn't have to finish because we got... Oh, but see, he and then... You're answering him. Go ahead. No, come on. We can have fun here, Okay, go ahead. Have fun. Let's have fun, man. I'm having fun. Yeah. So let me explain something about our view of morality. I, I don't know where you're at on this. With, uh, we'll in, find out. In terms of the uh, nature of man, right? Obviously, we all agree he's, man's a creature. He's dependent on God, doesn't exist apart from God, would stop to exist if God willed him to stop existing, right? Uh, man, if God willed for man to stop existing, he would stop existing, right? Do you to... No, 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 but what okay. I'm getting at is this. <laughs> we believe man was made in the image of God, and so man is to reflect God in his character. Image doesn't mean man looks like God, right? That's not what we mean. But we believe that man has certain characteristics that are, uh, you know, man, unlike other creatures, can reason, can know its creator, can worship him, at least in a in the way that man can. That's not true. You know, other creatures, I'm not saying everything, everything glorifies God. We all agree on that, right? What I'm getting at is the morality that we have is a reflection of what God is like. The reason we're to have no other gods is because there are no other gods, right? Good, I'm with that. One God. Right. No kids, second no parents. Second commandment is don't worship idols or worship God. We would say, in fact, if you're Salafi, you're closer to my view on this. We're not to worship God in any other way other than what he has commanded. Right? We agree on that. I'm right? just listening. Right. Okay. I think we agree on that. I'm just going to tell you. Like we can't invent. You're Salafi. Things. We can't. Uh, I, I, you could say I'm a, a we, Salafi version of Christianity. We agree that if we I, I don't, were, I, I don't, we agree that if we were Muslims, we'd probably be Salafi. How, how about this? How, how about we agree when you become Muslim, you'll become Salafi? How's that? You become reformed. Uh, so, reformed in Islam. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, so, go ahead. So uh, what I'm getting at then is that what we have in morality are a reflection of what God expects us to be like as His creatures, as I'm, His image bearers. I'm going to disagree, but I'm going to let you. Okay. Finish okay. out of respect, but, but so you understand the reason why I say that there's nothing that God approves of that if he became a human being, he would live by that same law. He, I mean, he would reflect that in his character. He wouldn't be an atheist. So right? let me, he wouldn't be uh, an idolater. I mean, that didn't make sense, right? I mean, how could he be atheist and you are exactly, God, right? So, I'm, exactly. so let me, let me, I'm, so I'm telling you, it reflects can I respond character. now? But this responds to you, this responds to you <coughs> asking if God became a human being, at least mm -hmm. this is what I was thinking you were asking, would this be possible for him to do? And I'd say yes. Okay. Okay, now he gets three minutes on It's all right, okay, it's all right. Good. Let's, let's, let's just go. I didn't know you were okay. timing it. I thought all right. you were right. That's actually all right, good. That's actually good. That's good. That's good. It's okay. Uh, you guys can speak. Don't you're worry about it. You're definitely going to want to do that uh, when Sam comes over. He speaks. Wanna, yeah. He yaps a lot. You say like, you know, two minutes, two minutes, Everybody, two minutes, something like that. David Wood is saying Sam yaps a lot. I got you. <laughs> your ears up, just so you know. I gotta invite you for tea, man. You're cool. All right, you too, Anthony. Thank you. We gotta even it out. Oh, even yeah, it out. Even All right. Out. All right. So, God, the Creator, has His set of rules that are separate from us, the creation. Okay. Even if God, na'udhu billah, like we seek refuge from Allah from this kind of thing. Even if you try to say that God was in on Earth, I don't believe that God needed to poop or pee or rest or get angry and lose his senses as humans do. For example, for example, no, let me let me finish. Anthony. There is what we call pleading insanity, right? Like if you go to court and you and, and let, let's say uh, you're married, like for example, and you come home and you find some dude in bed with your wife and you're like, this is crook, homie. Like you get crazy on him, you, you beat him, right? And you go to court. And they say, hey, you know what, you beat a person. You will say, well, I was out of my senses. In a human court, we would accept that. We'd say, hey, you know, 
temporary insanity. We plead insanity, right? We would accept because that's humans, right? So, so, so that's moral because you know you didn't know what you were doing. I don't believe that. That God's God's morality. God's above all of that. Let me finish. Let me finish, Anthony. What am I at? Right? One and a half. One and a half. Right? So, so when God created humans, He made the rules and regulations like marriage and inheritance and sexual intercourse and needs and desires and sex is a desire. You know, getting hungry, getting tired, losing your senses because you're so hungry, you need to eat. Those are human qualities. We don't give those to Allah. So that's why we would not agree on that point. But you didn't even represent my point accurately. Oh, okay. Yeah, my point I thought you did. My point had to do with morality. And, and I did too. I talked about morality. For example, somebody pleading insanity, so we morally that, accept. But I don't think we should morally accept that. Really? Okay, so let me understand no. your point. If a person is either, if a person happens okay. upon somebody sleeping with his wife, he's either justified in taking the person's life or he isn't. Okay, so let's talk about right. it. Anthony, you come home. Yeah, I'm saying. And you some dude in, your, in, in bed with your wife. What would you do? He's either justified. What would you do? Well, but that's a different question. Why? Because you don't want to answer it now, no, Anthony? No, 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 we're asking about the, the question of what's moral. It's not what would you okay, do. Okay, so what so, would you do? Because I'm, I'm, you would act surely morally. I don't think I'm the standard of morality, right? Well, I think you're somebody who tries to be moral, of I course, hope. Of course. Do you, do you, do you try but, to live a moral life? But let's, yeah, but both of us recognize, okay. both of us recognize we're creatures. Okay. We make mistakes. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And God is not. Right. So as those, the, those as, as feelings. God, is God, he is, Good. He is, he's eternal, Perfect. immutable. He doesn't get things. hungry. That's right. He doesn't get tired. But that's he doesn't not, need to go to the bathroom. Those moral issues. No, no, but this, this, again, so that's the thing. He doesn't lose his ability to judge, right? Okay, so if you, if, okay, so when a human being does at certain times, right? But but you're you're and morally you're talking about morality. I'm talking about morality, no, Anthony. You're talking about okay. And PA. No no no. Let's talk about this. Okay. Let's say somebody he is unable to. Are you are you looking yeah, over there? Or looking over here. All right. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'm you making, don't. I'm Allah sure protects us. Don't worry about it. But yeah. maybe he protects you by using the, this uh, capital. Uh, I, 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 a future Muslim, inshallah. <laughs> Tell you. All right. So let's take this. Okay. You get somebody moral. Right, a moral human being, okay, goes. I, I believe Isa ibn Maryam was very moral. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now if you take a moral human being, as a human being, he can make mistakes, right? Human beings can't make mistakes. Yeah, but that's a, wow. that's a false. That's a false. Wow. I just said, as a human being, we can make mistakes. We can, no, but you were saying you're using this to talk about Jesus. You I'm brought Jesus. No. I'm saying, as yeah. a human but being, Jesus did not. Okay, so let's let's just talk about humans. Do you think Jesus sinned at all, according to the Quran? Uh, I don't believe that I have any hadith or ayah in the Quran that mentions so Jesus. That. Let me finish. Jesus sinning. But could he, as a human being, make a mistake in judgment? He could. A any human being can. Does the Quran right? say that? That Jesus sure. could make a mistake? Okay. So let me explain it, right? Khulaq al for example, right? Insan has weaknesses. That's in the Quran. And Jesus, if you and me, and at least as a Muslim, I can say he was an insan, he was human, then the Quran tells that he has weaknesses. But Allah has no weaknesses. Separation. Right now, now you feel me. So, as a human being, we make mistakes. We make lapses in judgment that morally we're not held accountable for. Right? That's a lapse in judgment. We're talking about morality now. I'll give you another example. You're driving, right? And you are going a certain speed. You see somebody crossing. You you think that at a certain break point you're good. You try to break, but you still hit him. It's an accident. Right? You made a lapse in judgment. You go to court, you say, you know, I tried, they came out of nowhere, I tried to break as much as I could, I made a lapse in judgment, and the, and the court tells you, you know what, you made a lapse in judgment, but it's not a sin, it's not a criminal act, you didn't intend for it to be, so you get a, a pass because you're human. God is not like that, God is perfect. God's judgments are perfect. He doesn't have that human shortcoming of lapse in judgment. Okay, and my response to that is, you're working in terms of an understanding of human nature from the Christian perspective, which is post-fall. Man post is what? not post-fall. You know that we don't agree on the fall, but you know what that is. Right? The fall. God made man. God made Adam. Okay. Adam sinned against God. Okay. God didn't make Adam as that already guilty individual. Adam was upright. Okay, I just want to understand this then. So, God made Adam. Right, mm -hmm. and he had the ability to make judgments. Yes, and he. Oh, can I can I finish, bro? So I when he chose to eat, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
what I'm getting at is you're taking what's true of mankind by virtue of the fall and you're now applying that to Jesus. See, I don't think Jesus made errors in judgment. I don't think he made moral mistakes. I don't think he made any mistakes. And I don't think the Quran says he does. In fact, I think the Quran makes him an exception to the rule. So all I'm getting at is these sorts of arguments against the Incarnation don't really work. When we say that God became man, and you object and say, but God can't eat. And I'm saying you're missing the point. He's eating because he became man. It's only if God can't become man that he can't eat. So that's not an argument against the idea that God could become man. And so all you're giving me are arguments that presuppose or beg the question against the Incarnation. You understand what I'm saying? At least what I think, you know. Again, so let's go back to this again, okay. right? Saying that God needs to go to the bathroom, right? To me, is against the nature of God. He's, he does have needs. He doesn't. Let, let me finish now, bro. Let you. How long was that, right? I'm putting my finger. All right. You keep, keep your you finger up the whole time. How about that, right? There you go. There you Don't go. You have that so on your, uh, finger. Yeah. Like, take a picture. <laughs> Future Muslim, right here. I feel you. All right. So, now when you say God having to go to the bathroom is against the point that that is the point that God doesn't have those weaknesses that humans have. Those are against the nature of God to have to use the bathroom, to have to sleep because he's tired, to have to worry about making the right judgment because he, he, he hasn't had enough nutrition. Those things to me, those things and God's perfect nature cannot mix just as, just as we would say, that at least David said, that it would be against the nature of God to get married and have sex. And you said it would be, so I don't know, you guys can work that out at home. But, but I think that is not the nature of God to have those necessities. Now, you're only reiterating the point that I was asking you to address. The issue that we're trying to discuss is whether or not God could become man. God could become incarnate. You're raising objections that presuppose that he couldn't already. Okay? So that's not an argument against it. That's known in logic as begging the question. So you're saying God as God doesn't eat, doesn't sleep, doesn't die. I agree. It's the, by virtue of the incarnation that God eats, sleeps, dies, and so forth. So, that's not an argument against the, the possibility of God becoming man. That's an argument that assumes he couldn't become man. Okay? So, so for example, if, if, I was to, if our argument was, could I get married and have children? And then, you know, you're, you're arguing that I can't, and I'm arguing that I can. And, and I, I, you keep arguing that you, you can't get married and have children because right now, you don't have any children, you're not married, and so forth. Right? That wouldn't be an argument against whether I could or couldn't get married and have children. It'd just be an argument that right now, I'm not married and couldn't have children. So what I'm asking you, you to address is the fundamental point, could God become incarnate, not, not repeat, if it, God would be going to the bathroom, God would eat, God would sleep, God would die, God would rise again, right, victorious over death, as proof against the Incarnation, because that all presupposes the Incarnation, and it begs the question that we're actually trying to get to the bottom of. Okay, so let me say this again, because I think okay. when me and David were talking, you kind of zoomed out because I addressed... So the question here, again, gets to be one of those things that can God make a rock he can't lift? Well, we would answer that by saying that's against the nature of God being all-powerful, right? I, I would say it's no. I would say that's uh, it, God sorry, can. No, no. It, it makes no sense to <laughs> exactly. Ask, no, no. Listen, I'm saying that uh, those two things. You know, a rock so heavy, making a rock so heavy, lift it. Is, yes. Uh, you're asking if he can perform. Illogical feats are not feats at all. Thank you. Right. That's what you're asking. Exactly. But I that's don't my think, point. I don't think God. <laughs> see, I don't think that God becoming a human being is exactly the same thing. That. You do, right? yeah. and that's why I'm asking you to, Excellent. to, to Thank demonstrate you. that. Excellent. And so all that, you're doing is begging the question. No, I'm not. Let me explain it again, okay? When I ask David, for example, could we say that God gets a wife and has sex and has children and things like that? You said that would be against the nature of God, right? I meant like God just... Yeah, so like we're just talking about like God. Like, yeah, I'll give you an example, right? And I think it'll clarify this, right? Do you believe God would have 
sexual intercourse with a woman? I believe God has the power to do that if he wanted to, but he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't want to because of his moral, his moral nature. Thank you. I okay. agree with Anthony's answer that if God had decided after the incarnation to do that, then he'd so, be able, he'd so, be so able now to we're, do that sort of thing. So now we're saying God could get married and have sex and have children. I would say if God wanted to do that, and that was part of his so, plan so, or something. So let me like ask that, you. Let me ask.